Hello and welcome to the second lecture on the binomial theorem. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will look at the binomial theorem and some of um, the related results which can be derived from the binomial theorem. First, recall the definition of NCR, which is the number of ways of choosing R objects from N distinct objects, and which can be written as N factorial divided by N minus R factorial times R factorial. So the binomial theorem is given by uh, this result, this x plus y raised to the n is n c 0 x to the n y to the 0 plus n c 1 x to the n minus 1 y to the 1 plus so on till n c n minus 1 x to the 1, y to the 0, plus n c n, x to the 0, y to the n, where n c r is the number of ways of, ways of choosing r objects from n distinct objects. This can be more succinctly written as the summation r equal to 0 to n, n c r, x to the n minus r, y to the r. So the binomial theorem can be taken to be an identity in x and y. The binomial theorem is applicable for x and y uh, complex and n being a positive integer. At this point, I would like to mention that generalizations of the binomial theorem for the case when n is any real number also exist. So in the definition, in the expression of the binomial theorem, uh, we take x to the 0 to be equal to 1 for all x, which are complex numbers. So irrespective of the value of x, we define x to the 0 to be equal to 1. So you notice that uh, there are n plus 1 terms in the binomial theorem. Uh, and they are not n terms, but n plus 1 terms in the binomial theorem. And you notice that there is sort of a pattern to the terms in the binomial theorem. And that is well captured by the general term of the binomial theorem. In general, the r plus 1 term in the expansion of x plus y to the n can be written as ncr x to the uh, n minus r times y to the r. So to give you an example of the application of the binomial theorem, uh, let's look at x plus y power 1. So from the binomial theorem, we get that this is nothing but 1 c 0 x power 1 y power 0 plus 1 c 1 x power 0 y power 1, which gives us x plus y, which is what we expect. So we can also derive for the case when we have x plus y whole square. This is nothing but 2c0, x power 2, y power 0, plus 2c1, x power 1, y power 1, plus 2c2, x power 0, y square. And since 2c0 is 1, we have x square. 2c1 is nothing but 2. We have 2xy. And 2c2, again, is 1, so we have plus y squared. And this is the well-known result uh, of x plus y, the whole square, equals x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Uh, similarly, you can derive that x plus y, the whole cube, 
is x cubed plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. And you can derive this result uh, from the binomial expansion as well. So one way in which you can interpret the binomial theorem is as follows. Uh, so to derive x plus y raised to the n is equal to this expression, you just consider x plus y raised to the n is nothing but x plus y times x plus y and so on times x plus y for a total of uh, n terms. And the interpretation of this expansion can be given as follows. So if you choose n x's, then you choose an x from each of these each of these parentheses here. And so there is only one way of choosing x's from each of these parentheses. So there's only one way of choosing n x's and 0 y's. And that gives you the coefficient of x power n, y power 0. And if you want to choose n minus 1 x's from this expression, then you have to choose n minus 1 x's from the n possible x's. And you have to choose 1 y from the n possible y's. And that can be done in n choose 1 ways. And that gives you the coefficient of x power n minus 1 times y power 1, and so on. So in this way, you can derive uh, the, you can provide a combinatorial interpretation of the binomial expansion. So as I mentioned uh, previously, there are generalizations for the binomial theorem for the case when uh, this exponent n is not necessarily a positive integer, but when it can be any real number. So uh, this is the general result of the binomial theorem. And you can derive several related results by playing around with the general result of the binomial theorem. For instance, you could replace y by minus y in the theorem. And upon doing so, you would get an expression for x minus y raised to the n. This is going to be nc0 x to the n minus y to the 0 plus nc1 x to the n minus 1 minus y to the 1 and so on till ncn x to the 0 minus y raised to the n. And this can be more simply written as summation r equal to 0 to n minus 1 to the r ncr x to the n minus r y to the r. So this result is very similar to the result we derived for the binomial theorem. The second result which we can derive is by replacing y by 1, in which case we can derive an expansion for x plus 1 raised to the n as nc0 x to the n 1 to the 0 plus nc1 x to the n minus 1, 1 to the 1, and so on, uh, ncn x to the 0, 1 to the n. And this can be written as nc0 x to the n plus nc1 x to the n minus 1, and so on, to ncn x to the 0. Now, to arrive at a more simpler expression of this result, use the fact that ncr is ncn minus r. And you can derive this to be equal to ncn x to the n plus ncn minus 1 x to the n minus 1, and so on, to nc0 x to the 0. And this last expression can simply be written as summation r equal to 0 to n nc r x to the r. And so this is the binomial expansion of x plus 1 to the n. Similarly, uh, you can also derive 
this result from the binomial expansion. You can derive an expansion for x plus y to the n plus x minus y to the n. And if you apply the binomial expansion uh, for these two separate expressions, you will get uh, 2 times nc0 uh, x to the n y to the 0 plus nc2 x to the n minus 2 y squared and so on. The alternate terms will cancel out and it will leave you with this result. So that's it for this lecture. Uh, so hope you had fun listening to the binomial theorem and some of its related results. In the next lecture, we'll be looking at some examples of the usage of the binomial theorem and some possible problems you will face in an exam situation. Thank you.